cheap. I'm on wagon. I'd use the local police force, but uh, the fact is, Gordon, they're useless. Lone existentialist crime fighters like yourself, men with an addiction to justice. They're much better at fighting evil than government fat cats and bloated examples of America's descent into decadence. Amen. We think that the commies have infiltrated the moving pictures. They're writing subversive themes into scripts to influence our children and women. The fact is, there's only one kind of red we like in this country. A red skin who knows his place and wears feathers a lot while having very little understanding of syntax. Not goddamn communists. There's communists? In Vinewood? Oh, but this used to be a nice country. Oh, Gordon, I'm scared. I'm scared. Scared too, Molly, of what I'll do when I catch them. Me scalp them big nasty. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, simmer down. Sorry. We'll have to find a way to sneak onto that motion picture studio lot and have a look around, see? I knew I can count on you. Who better to protect America than a drunk? A dame in a sensitive portrayal of indigenous people. How about we smoke on peace pipe? Oh, yeah. I'm in. <laughs> Okay, all right, let's get out of here. I know exactly where to start. Are we going to the movie studio? No, Molly, we're going in here. Can't start a case without a fisted gin. Helps a man think. Now, where to find these pinkos? Hey there, partner, where are you from? Oh, I'm from uh, Georgia. Oh, I do love a peach. Yeah, I'm real American. I sleep with sister and, and finger ship. Well, no time to dilly-dally. I've got to solve this case, and I know just how to get into that movie lot. Hey, Joey, look what I snuck for my old man. God, Zooks, Nancy. He'll be cross for sure. You'll get a serious spanking. Nah, he only spanks Mommy. Why should he enjoy all this refreshing flavor? Yay! <laughs> when Daddy's not looking, grab that pack. Don't worry about that cough or hack. <laughs> Time to smoke, smoke, smoke really good. It's gotta be that filter tip. Redwood! Yeah. I love you forever, Redwood cigarette. Smoking is just as fun for kids as it is for parents. Have a Redwood. Don't let adults have all the fun. You going? Look the other way, pal. We're fighting communists. Oh, I hate these communists. They killed my father in Stalingrad. Look in the writer's room. I hear the filthy socialists often meet there. Oh, Gordon, I'm scared. Shut up. You'll blow our cover. Oh, I'm sorry, Gordon. Estrogen makes me weak-minded. Let's not waste time. We haven't got a moment to lose on dull exposition or silly plot points. I want to go straight to the boss of this place. Vinewood is full of harlots and charlatans and socialist scum. And I want to know who is pulling the strings. We need to have a chat, bucko. Ah, uh, you've been overdoing the fire water again, huh? We can't afford to pay your kind for movie work. We're losing money. This is uh, advertising money. I'm no sitting bull, big chief pile of cash. I'm Gordon Moorhead, crime fighter, and I'm hunting commies, see? Ha, I knew it. No, those aren't mine. They, they belong to the maintenance man. A likely story, blaming the honest poor. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Zelder. I forgot my artificial hand. You slipped by this time, but I'm convinced you're running a massive propaganda operation here. One that's hell-bent into turning this country into a bunch of weak-minded, overly considerate Lenin lovers. Why, that's a bold-faced lie! Actors and movie executives would never push a liberal agenda. We studio bosses are too busy counting money all day and sleeping with young starlets to care about the dreck we're putting out. What you need to do is uh, visit the writer's room. Yes, that's what you should do. What I need to do is... Get this young lady out from under my desk! No teeth, damn it! Oops, sorry, Mr. Zelda, I didn't mean it! Oh, Gordon, this is so scary! Shut up! <laughs> Running out of places to slap you. We're fighting a red menace here. We've got no time for emotion. What did you do during a war, Gordon? I fought fascism. In Germany? Italy? No dumbass Florida. Now shut your yap, we're here. Get suits! Someone's making monkeys of us! There must be another writer's room! Don't worry, I will track them. <laughs> Over there! Ha! <laughs> You're incredible, you savage! Pablo! 
That's not Pablo. Yes, it is. Igor Pavlovich, rescue at large. <laughs> Comrades, you're too late. Already I have flooded your movies with communist propaganda. Your workers will they will rise up, unionize, demand ridiculous wages, and then all American industry will fail and move to communist China. <laughs> it's good plan, no? <laughs> oh, 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 please. Oh, that is rich. America will always be a pillar of industry. We're unstoppable. Our hunger and work ethic make us invincible. As if America would ever become fat, lazy, and entitled like you commies. And besides, I'm about to stop you. <laughs> oh, that horrible, awful foreigner is getting away! <laughs> Get him, Gordon! No, bye-bye, comrades! Fall down! Pablo! Hola, Senor Moorhead. Hola, Miss Malmsteen. Oh, Pablo, where have you been? I stopped for siesta and to have burrito. Such a cunning people. They nap half the day and mix the same four ingredients and give it 20 different names. Oh, can I get a chimichanga? Gordon, I bring you a present. But, Pablo, Friendly's no longer a sponsor of this show. See, si, but this is old script, muy viejo. Well, in that case, give me a redwood, buy me a starter home, and stand the hell back. These people are about to be put on the cutting room floor. <laughs> Oof. Hi. I guess weeding out trouble never goes out of style. How, <laughs> muchacho? And I guess I would like a red one. Join us next time for more adventures with Gordon, Molly, and the gang as they protect America's atomic secrets by setting some off only on Morehead Rides Again!